explain the principle of operation of a three-phase induction motor. We know that when a three-phase supply consisting of three phases and a neutral wire is connected to a three-phase induction motor, its rotor starts rotating. Let's understand what makes the rotor rotate. When a three-phase AC supply is connected to the three-phase stator field windings, they start behaving like electromagnets and produce three independent alternating magnetic fluxes. The resultant of these fluxes is called the net flux. We see that its magnitude remains constant, but position keeps on changing with time in circular manner. Hence, net flux develops a rotating magnetic field in the stator, which causes relative motion between the net flux and the rotor. Since the magnetic flux linked with the rotor keeps on changing, a current starts flowing in the rotor winding. As per the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, the direction of this current is given by the Fleming's right-hand rule. We know that when a current-carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. Similarly, when a current-carrying rotor is placed in the stator magnetic field, it experiences a force and starts rotating. The direction of rotation of the rotor is the same as that of the rotating magnetic field of the stator. We can say that a three-phase induction motor works on the principle of electromagnetic induction, where the relative motion between the flux and the rotor caused by the rotating magnetic field induces a current in the rotor, forcing it to rotate in the same direction. Related terms are 